this is your alam sai krishna remaining concepts of classification of elements and periodic table we have to discuss in this class is dober neel loss of triads in the last class also we discussed once more we have to provide this concepts is on basis of the similar properties the elements which they have similar properties that elements are arranged in one group in one group how many elements he was arranged only three elements he was arranged in one group that's why these group these three elements we have to consider as a triads triads is and these three elements they have the which properties they have the similar properties the elements which they have similar properties he was arranged the three elements in one group that we have to call as a triad example for these lithium sodium potassium these three elements are one type lithium sodium potassium calcium strontium barium calcium strontium barium this is one more triad and chlorine bromine iodine it is also one more triad again sulfur selenium tellurium this is also one more triad like these three 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 elements he was arranged in one group these three elements should have that similar properties so these three elements groups we have to consider as a what triad tri mean what three that's why we told these groups are called as a what triads yes the elements which he was arranged in one group in one group first element and third element atomic mass average is equals to the second element atomic mass first element atomic mass suppose here it is in a 7s it is in a 39 it is in a 23 lithium atomic mass is 7 potassium 39 7 plus 39 average we have to take 46 by 2 that mean 23 as it is an equals to the sodium it is an equals to what sodium sodium atomic mass is 23 as usual here lithium and potassium both elements atomic mass average is equals to the second element atomic mass we have to keep in the mind first element atomic mass and third element atomic mass these two elements atomic mass average is equals to the second element atomic mass first element and third element atomic mass average is equals to the second element atomic mass is that is classification of dober neel this also we have to consider as a dober neel law of triads but are we following these classification till today no we are not following this classification is still today because of there is an some of the defects are there what kind of the defects are there is he did not classify the all elements he did not classify the all elements and these this classification is not applicable to low mass and high atomic mass elements is this classification these principles are not applicable to low atomic mass of the element and high atomic mass of the element is i did not classify the iron cobalt nickel he did not classify he did not arrange this iron cobalt nickel again ruthenium rhodium palladium these three elements also not arranged is iron cobalt nickel ruthenium rhodium palladium osmium iridium and platinum osmium iridium and platinum these three these three these three also he did not arrange in the triads is he did not classify the all the elements it is not applicable to low and high atomic mass of the elements and he did not classify of these nine elements and 
this classification completely on basis of the atomic weight only on basis of the atomic weight only is here some of the new techniques were developed after the double classification the new techniques are not in applicable new techniques are not in suitable for this classification is that is also one of the defect that also we have to keep in the mind after after the Dobberni law of triads, next one more scientist also came out new lines. New lines octaves. New lines law octaves. New lines law octaves. One more classification. What is that? New lines law octaves. He is he also the scientist? He also classify the elements on basis of the atomic weight. On basis of what atomic weight only? Javanir also on basis of the atomic weight. He also on basis of the atomic weight only. He also classified the elements on basis of that what atomic weight of the elements only. He classified overall how many elements? Fifty-six elements. He was he was classified. How many elements? Fifty-six elements. He was classified into the how many groups? Into the seven groups. Is into the seven groups. Newlands also classified the elements on basis of that what atomic weight. How many elements? And fifty. 56 elements is into how many groups into seven groups into how many groups into seven groups only he was classified how he was classified a the one two 56 elements on basis of them atomic weight he was arranged in the ascending order suppose one two three four five like this up to how many elements 56 elements he was arranged a total of 56 only there on basis of the atomic weight of that element he was arranged in the ascending order arranged in which order in the ascending order only he was arranged and he was follow the indian musical pattern what is the indian musical pattern indian musical pattern sari gama padanisa sari gama Padanisa, yes, here how many letters are there? Eight letters are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many letters are here? Eight letters are here. The first letter is sa. And eight letter also sa. How in Indian musical pattern the first letter and eight letter both also same. Like that only he was expected the first element and the eighth element it should have the similar properties he was expected. Like that Indian musical pattern the first letter is sa and the eighth letter is sa as usual is the first element and the eighth element then next the eighth element then next the eighth element it should have the similar properties suppose in our classroom just i was arranging according to your rule number first rule number eighth rule number that's mean in the middle of the time i am leaving that six members first one eighth one middle six members i am just leaving first candidate and eighth candidate next eighth candidate next eighth candidate next eighth candidate this all those students are belongs to one group like that only first element eighth element next eighth element next eighth element next eighth element next eighth element it should have the similar property in these all elements belongs to seven group uh, sorry, all elements belongs to one group is first element eighth element next eighth element next eighth element Next eight element, this all elements belongs to one group like the total 56 elements is classified into seven groups. Each group contain how many elements? Each group contain eight elements. Each group contain how many elements? Eight elements. Seven. Eight seven. Yeah? 56 like that he was classified that all the elements uh, 
are we following that classification of new lands no till now we are not following that new lands classification why we are not following new lands classification only classified only 56 elements only was classified only 56 elements only classified Hey, the elements which are in one group which don't have similar properties, which don't have similar properties, which don't have similar properties. He classified only 56 elements. It don't have the similar property. The elements which are present in one group that is also one of the defect. Again, two elements are present in one group. How many elements are present in one group? Two elements is cobalt, and nickel. He was for keep in one box. Sorry, one not in one group. In one box only he was keep. Is he classified only fifty six elements? The elements which are present in one group, which don't have the similar properties. Is again one the one box contain how many elements? Two elements, cobalt and nickel, both also present in one box only. Is these are the defects only of new lands. That's why till now we are not following the new lands classification. After the new lands, Luther Mayer. Luther Mayer classified the elements on basis of the atomic weight and on basis of the physical properties of the elements. Is Luther Mayer classified the elements on basis of that what atomic weight and physical properties of the elements only? And he classified the elements and he was arranged in the graph like this cosmic manner. A support. Like this only he was arranged. Is yes, like this only he was arranged. Here bottom of the place these all elements belongs to one group. This all elements belongs to one group. Is in a curved manner the classified the elements by whom Luther Mayer only. Classified the elements in this way only. The bottom elements all are belongs to one group. Is here the middle of the place? These elements all also belongs to one group. Is which also belongs to one group? Yes. Again here the top position. Here the top position. These all elements also. Belongs to one group. Yes, like this, he was arranged the elements. Like this, he was arranged the elements on basis of the which properties? On basis of the atomic properties and physical properties of the elements only. He was classified in the curved manner only according to the graph. Like this only, he was arranged the elements. At bottom of the series, all elements are belongs to one group. At middle of the series, all elements belongs to one group. Again, at the top of the series, all the elements also belongs to one group. Like that only, it was classified. Are we following the classification of the Luther Mayer till now? No, we are not following that classification. Why we are not following that classification? Mean is can we remember of these elements are like this? The elements which are in one group can we remember as usual like this? No, we can't remember of the elements of this classification, this arrangement of the groups. It is a difficult to remember. That's why we can't follow the this classification of the elements only. In the next class, we have to discuss about that most important classification of the elements, Mendeleev classification, and mostly classifications. We have to discuss in the next class. As in the previous class, we discussed that as Robert Boyle just he gave the definition of the element. In the next, uh, as father of modern chemistry, Antony Lavoisier, he classified the elements into the metals and non-metals. That classification. Then after Dauber need is once more I revised here. I told that examples also 
after the jobber knees next to new lands new lands after luther mayer luther mayer after in the next class mendeleev mendeleev after mosley robert boyl levoiser s dobber knees new lands luther mayer mendeleev find mosley these all the classifications we have to remember we have to remember and once more all the classifications also i can explain it together also no need to confuse of anything is yes, i can forward that the practice beach about these concepts you have to make the answers in our running notes is yes, you have to keep with you thank you thank you so much